Cheaters never win and winners never cheat. Unless you have a really good reason or you find someone that cares about you more than your spouse or never mind. Let's get into today's book. Hi, my name is Kyla Denayo and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. So today we are talking about the book Cheaters by Eric Drum Dickey. I cannot find the dust cover. Cheaters by Eric Drum Dickey, right? I apologize for this. I cannot find the dust cover. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is African American literature. This book follows three friends, Stefan, Jake, and Darnell, as well as Shantae who is dating people on the side, but she also ends up hooking up with Stefan a little bit. And then her friends have this whole thing. This person is cheating, that person wants to cheat, this person is just wandering, this person is trying to stop cheating. Cheaters, 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 okay? Definitely on the naughty list. And there's a quote in the book that is by Stefan's friend Darnell, one of my favorite quotes, and he says, they forget that we evolve, we change, that with every tomorrow, we reinvent ourselves a million times over. Now the quote was said in regards to his marriage and he was thinking about how he and his wife are not the same people that they were when they got married, but it applies to many different aspects. And that quote is really important because Darnell, like I said, is an aspiring writer. He also is an attorney. He's a practicing attorney. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> so the idea of change being welcoming, change being something that we do all the time, change being something that everybody does is really important to me because we do change. We change, we reinvent ourselves in relationship, we change in relation to our jobs, we change our hobbies, we change all kinds of stuff. This book is 362 pages, including the author's note in the back. So out of all the words, for that quote to really jump out to me was because I have been going through my own little change and metamorphosis and whatever. And so especially with Darnell being an attorney and switching into something else, I thought this was really relevant. So, yep. Uh, would I read the book again? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was a child in the 90s, but the antics that they go through while dating in the 90s is so funny. I'm talking, leaving messages on tape recorders and somebody else removing the tape and you tapping your own phone so you can find out if your boyfriend is calling other women while you're asleep. It's like people had to go through a lot of work to cheat. <laughs> just don't cheat, right? Like if it's that much work, just go. People went through a lot of work to cheat. And so it's really funny with 2022 eyes to be reading these text from the 90s and see how people were dating and what they were dealing with. So that's one of the things that I love about books, love about writing, is that you do get to see exactly what was going on when the author was writing it. So that was today's discussion of the book Cheaters by Eric Jerome Dickey. Again, can't find the dust cover, excuse that, but let me know if you, not if you cheated, right? But let me know if you've read the book Cheaters, if you are have ever used a tape recorder? If you ever had to buy a little tape for your tape recorder to get your messages when people call your house? If you've ever had a home phone, let me know that for sure. And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye. <laughs>